Hi, welcome to this new uh, video. It's a small tutorial how to connect your XKX380 uh, to uh, a PC via the ground station software. So uh, you will need uh, to uh, uh, connect your uh, um, uh, USB quadcopter with the provided USB cable. Okay, so a specific one, short one. Okay, be sure ending with the uh, mini uh, USB. Uh, Plug. Okay, and you will need to install two software, well, two driver, and one driver and one runtime. So uh, the first thing is to install the last version of the uh, virtual com driver at ST Micro web pages. Uh, you have to download, for example, the 1.4.0 version. So uh, I think available for 3064 byte machines. Well. Uh, it's uh, when you don't only it, uh, you have to run the setup here. Uh, where is it? Um, is this file okay? And uh, the second software to download is the uh, uh, runtime for LabVIEW. Why? Because the flying uh, uh, controlling software have been built with uh, uh, LabVIEW, so you have to install the runtime here for uh, 60 byte uh, machines. Uh, they are also for 30 bytes, so it's uh, Universal, it's uh, 241 megabytes. So after you download it, you run it, and to install, you will need to restart your computer. Okay, and uh, this file is uh, where is this file? Is this one? Okay, and uh, one is done. Uh, you are able to run the the software. So you have first to download uh, in uh, via a link of the RC Group thread. Uh, take the message um, of the 143 from uh, this uh, uh, RC Group thread and you will find in the attachment uh, the software. So when you unzip this file here, you will find uh, a folder with some Chinese character. Uh, exit from this shoulder, folder and I rename it. It's uh, the X300 uh, Grand Station software. Okay. And you will find inside uh, the flight controller config.exe. So now, think, since you install uh, the uh, uh, national instrument, you can run it. Okay. So don't pay attention to my small format of the display because I'm using a laptop with uh, uh, high resolution and uh, the fonts and the size are not really well correctly scaled. Um, so uh, how to connect your uh, X380s? Uh, you have to uh, turn on the radio like this. Uh, be sure that uh, your USB is plugged. Uh, now run the battery. Uh, plug your battery. Okay. Connect to uh, USB to a USB port. Okay. Let's see. Like this. You can hear this uh, uh, beep, fast beep. And now you will run the software. Okay. And you have to click on Open USB. And when it's done, you have the number of uh, satellites somewhere, and you can see that the, the pitch and the uh, is working, as well as the sticks of all the controller, etc. So you can access to the uh, basic configs. You can choose, for example, the battery voltage of the different configurations. Uh, the Return to home. Uh, okay, you can sh uh, select if it's uh, pointing the tails or uh, hovering or landing or uh, uh, the noise. If you want that the quadcopter is facing to the noise front of you, you can shoot here. You can um, select uh, the altitude. You will clean first uh, when engaging the return to home. Okay, you have different parameters, and in the advanced set, you can select also some. Uh, Limit the the zone where to fly zero means probably infinity. Uh, well, uh, you, you don't have a special firmware version, but here you can tune, for example, the velocity of the quadcopter if you want something more. Okay, so um, and of course you can read the value. Uh, okay, I think it's in continu continuously reading mode. Okay, you, ah, you can see here. Uh, you, I read correctly the ID, the firmware version, etc. 
So uh, you have the different elements, so you can read the firmware, I can really guess it, uh, but it's okay. Uh, you can hear also the values, read 64 like this, uh, all the battery voltage, etc. Okay, thank you for watching, bye bye.